A COO is a role that is famously hard to define. It is the chief operating officer, but that means different things at different companies, in different sectors, and even to different CEOs. It's really almost like a tale of two cities, what this role is in the tech world right now, and what it is in sort of conventional corporate America. Traditionally speaking, the role has always been commonly used almost as a succession tool in itself. In the tech world today, it's a very different thing. I think that traditionally marketing and HR and some other roles have been considered to be more female friendly roles, but now the fabric of everything about culture building and team building, motivating teams, developing teams, that's becoming a key part of all C-suite roles. I think we're seeing a lot more women in C-level roles and a lot more women who are aspiring to become CEOs someday. And I think the fact that we see so many more women in these C-level roles and in COO roles really bodes really well for the future. We saw Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook, Marnie Levine of Instagram, Linda Johnson at Airbnb, Sarah Fryer at Square, Mayel Gave at Compass, Karen Peacock at Intercom, Lexi Reese at Gusto, Roz Brewer at Starbucks, Claire Hughes Johnson of Stripe. It's everywhere. And the more you pay attention to this, the more you will see it. One thing that I think has changed about the COO role over time is it tends to get much broader in the business than it has been in the past. Sometimes COOs are uh, more legal HR and business operations function from that perspective. My COO role and, and a lot of other ones are more about go-to-market strategy, scale, and how sort of the customer experience manifests in the product. But you're still gonna see a lot of differentiation based on, it, on the fact that it's so based on the CEO and the rest of the company needs. So the question is, is this building this amazingly robust pipeline, or because this is a sort of number two position that tends to be more internal to the CEO's external, it tends to be doing all the things the CEO doesn't want to do, the less glamorous things in many cases. Does it risk sort of becoming a, a new glass ceiling? I've never really worried about that. I think of it more of the concept of impact. Where can I have the most impact? And in some cases, you can have more impact as a COO. In some cases, you can have more impact as a CEO. We are definitely seeing more women in the role of COO and in C-level roles in particular. but. I don't think that means that there's you know, a glass ceiling at supporting player. I think what that means is we are going to see more women CEOs in the future. And not just with this class of women who are becoming COOs, but with the women moving up the ranks who see all of us as role models and who understand that there are now these C-level roles and CEO roles that you know, I as a young woman can aspire to be. As um, Mayel Gave, who's a COO, said in the story, in two to five years, she says, these COOs are gonna be kind of like ready to go, poachable, and you know, will they be put in place as CEOs in tech or elsewhere? And so we'll see.